AMR, antimicrobial resistance, or the rise of superbugs. Well, that's how we term it. But the truth is, reckless use of antibiotics, and of course, over a period of several years and decades, now bacteria is showing resistance to the typical traditional antibiotics. A lot has been said about this, but this is for the first time a lot is being done for AMR. And this makes me really proud to tell you that a biotech startup from India, from Bangalore, is leading the way. That will be an understatement. What if I tell you that an international organization of the level of WHO and has pledged funding to Bugworks, which is the organization, which is the company, which is spearheading this action towards AMR, which is antimicrobial resistance. Now that sounds exciting, isn't it? So first things first, we have to look at antimicrobial resistance, what it is. So there is an urgent need for a new type of antibiotic or a new class of antibiotics so that we can fight and combat antimicrobial resistance. We can also find possible solutions to resistant diseases and find a complete class of antibiotics which can be used against all these microbes. Now, this has been the talk of the town so far, but you know what brings up as a promise is uh, Bugworks started, they have a proprietary platform uh, to you know find this, uh, this category of antibiotics and they, they, they have come up with this antibiotic. The phase one trial has begun in Australia and the game changing phase two trial. So if uh, the phase one trials are successful, GARDP, which is a non-profit arm of uh, WHO, they have pledged 160 crores or $20 million to Bugworks to bring this particular product to the market. Now, this formalized collaboration is going to go a long way. Now, this doesn't just mean that there is a success in uh, the AMR direction, but it also proves to the world that a small startup in Bengaluru for uh, bi biotech sector can actually create a dent in this universe. And uh, Dr. Anand Kumar, who is the co-founder and the brain behind the CEO of Bugworks has high hopes for this future. Uh, with his vision and leadership, he has uh, been leading Bugworks in several years now, and he's at the forefront of this antibiotic development. His experience goes back to 20 years plus of experience, and he, so far he has led three uh, different startups successfully and this is his uh, startup towards antibiotic re uh, resistance. Now, this battle is going to go a long way. It's not that, okay, if the funding comes in, so he's going to be successful, but definitely this is a very strong, very successful step towards uh, this battle towards antibiotic um, resistance. Now, the technology which they are using, they have developed a proprietary platform. Uh, this technology uh, will help them discover previously untapped classes of antibiotics and this in-house platform is unlike any other in the industry. So it, this is completely unique and it will allow them to find out and identify highly accurate identification of potential drug targets. Now, this cutting edge technology uh, which Bugworks has developed well on, on its way to make significant dent in the global crisis for antibiotic resistance. Now. One important thing we, here which uh, we, we should talk about is GARDP. So GARDP is a non-profit arm of WHO and they have been um, hell-bent to fight this AMR and they've been strengthening this antibiotic resistance uh, research. So this groundbreaking initiative aims at developing new antibiotics, addressing the global health crisis and they are focusing on neglected patients who um, are not responding to the traditional antibiotics and this new antibiotic with a much needed low cost will actually help these ignored or neglected patients. Now, this will actually become a strong tool in the future and the impact of Bugworks in innovation is definitely going to open the eyes of big pharma who so far, uh, you know, 
take pride that all the innovation happens there. But the truth is a small startup can also create a dent bigger than what the big pharma is doing. Now, I want to bring a very important point to the light of all my viewers here. We can conclude three things from this news. The first is there is a brighter future in drug discovery. And if you're joining a startup, you have faster chances of growth. And of course, the startup is also going to grow. The second point, the power of partnership. You can see GARDP partnership with Bugworks and all the teamwork of Bugworks team is going to go a long way in fighting against antimicrobial resistance. And the third is the importance of innovation. Young minds must pursue science. Young minds must pursue uh, biotechnology and they must go into research and join companies like Bugworks. They may seem a smaller company, but they are creating a bigger dent than the biggest of the pharma companies. So many of the uh, you know subscribers write to me that I want to get into a big company. It's not like that. Even if you join a small company, you can still create a bigger impact, right? You can create a bigger impact on your career as well as bigger impact on the world at large. So what say guys, let me know in the comment section about this news. If you have any questions, comments or anything you would like to know about Bugworks, let me know. I'll try to reach out to Dr. Anand Kumar and see if I can arrange an interview for our subscribers. But in the meanwhile, this is a great news for all the biotech enthusiasts in our uh, community. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.